short video training module on writing and producing white papers as a business consultant. Being able to write a professional white paper is a critical skill that is valuable to any consultant in any field or niche, but I have found that 90% of consultants I've worked with have no idea how to construct a white paper, what parts would be included, what not to include, if you should sell it or give it away. Most people have no experience in this area, yet everybody admits that it's valuable. So I thought this would be a perfect video supplement uh, to include within this training and certification program for consultants, and I hope you get a lot of value out of this. To start with, um, there's actually white papers on how to write white papers. So um, whether you, you know, get a lot of value out of this video or not, just go look on Google, white paper on how to write white papers. There's a couple great ones out there that have been downloaded millions of times and used by consultants all over the world. And there really are you know, templates you can use while doing this that will save you a lot of time. And if you're able to get this skill down, it'll help you improve your knowledge because you're synthesizing things you've learned and then putting it back out on paper and teaching others. And it'll position you as an expert to make that in a way that makes you respected by not only your clients, but also your peers. If you're able to create white papers at your consulting firm, that's a unique skill set that you're bringing to your consulting team or that's helping your consulting business grow that many people can't do. So it's really a valuable kind of nugget of experience to be able to add to you know your resume or repertoire of what you can do as a consultant. Um, first tip is that if you want to get good at writing white papers, you have to first get good at writing articles. If you're scared to write articles, you're not sure what to write about, start by writing blog posts. If you don't have a blog, you can either guest post on other people's blogs or create your own blog for free on Blogger or for $8. You can get some WordPress blog with a custom domain name. Um, but if you practice blogging, just a paragraph, just write a paragraph a day. From then, try to piece together some paragraphs into one larger idea, maybe you know the top five best practices of your niche area of consulting, then dig into all five. And you can just write a little paragraph on each of those five best practices for five days in a row and then your article will be done. Once you get good at doing those articles, then you can go and approach doing a white paper. But if it feels intimidating, just chunk it down. Just, it's just like a consulting project. You, you know, the whole project does seem intimidating. That's probably why you're hired as a consultant. And it has many moving parts to it. But if you break it down, you can start with blog posts, start just a little bit a day, then go to articles, and then write a white paper. And all of that can happen within the matter of just one to two months. This doesn't have to be a multi-year, drawn-out, painful process. The next tip is to give speeches when possible. By giving speeches, you have to organize your ideas, synthesize them. Sometimes even the difference of putting ideas into a PowerPoint and then during a presentation, you kind of ad lib a bit and take it from PowerPoint back into a verbal form. All those transformations just ingrain that knowledge in your mind and your brain even more. Um, and it can be really beneficial for just kind of getting your um, ideas really well refined and that will help improve the quality of your writing as well. The great thing about speaking is you get great direct feedback, the looks on people's faces, the questions they ask, their feedback forms afterwards, their complaints, if they're complaining about something about how you speak. That's all great feedback for the content you're providing. So you want to make sure that final white paper is great and not just average or just something to forget about. Um, another tip is that in each white paper, uh, you should remember the, the rule of three. Um, in every white paper, you should have three graphs or visual displays of some point. In every white paper, I believe you should have at least three quotes, uh, three people you surveyed, three expert quotes, you went and interviewed them. It doesn't have to be in-person interview. It doesn't even have to be a phone interview. Just ask them for an email quote you could include in your white paper and you can cite who they are and what company or organization they work for to give them credit. Um, and then the other rule of three, the third rule of three, to make sure your white paper is at least three full pages long. Um, that's a minimum. Usually seven to ten pages for most industries is the longest you want to make it. Otherwise, I'd rather split the white paper in half if it's 20 pages and come out with two white papers and just, you know, spread them out by a month or something. So the rule of three is to have three graphs or visual displays, to have three to seven pages, and have at least um, three interview quotes within your white paper. So those are the three rules of three. Um, the next thing to remember is to have a professional cover. You can ha hire a gra graphic design artist on design99.com. You can get some templates from Microsoft Word. You can buy a template um, for $50 or $100 online. Make it look very professional. Make it look just as good as you know a top three accounting firm or as a 
one billion dollar a year law firm like make it look class a and people will treat the words like they're more valuable and they're more likely to turn the page and read your report if it looks like an academic journal paper people are going to say is this boring and just skip to the conclusion so you want to make it really you know consumable and how it looks and make it very visually appealing um, another uh, the last two tips is one hire a professional editor even if you are a great writer, it's a good idea to get another perspective, how to organize it more efficiently, how to write more concisely, um, fix grammar mistakes, make sure there's no big errors that you skipped over. And then the final tip is distribution of your white paper. What you want to do is make it so that you know your white paper is read by as many people as possible. You might want to sell your white paper, but most consultants I know are trying to become more well positioned as the expert, trying to get their stuff out on the internet so people find them you know, on Google every day. Um, they're trying to get invited to speak places and they're trying to get included in RFP requests. So really you should be looking at and constantly developing your database within your niche field. There is no database of white paper submission websites, but within every field there's different sets of places you could submit them to magazines, to blogs, uh, to white paper hosting websites, um, to article directories, um, on your own blog, friends blogs. There's many different places where your white paper can be posted. Um, associations can be a good place. They'll sometimes post white papers. And the fact that you call it a white paper makes it seem as much higher quality than an article. Um, so remember to include that while marketing your white paper to others. And make sure when you do all this research, you have it captured within a Google Doc spreadsheet or a Microsoft um, spreadsheet so that in Excel you can see the contact name of that person who could help you promote the white paper, the email address, the website address, and how they could help you, like where are they going to post your white paper and how is that going to get you more exposure. The more places you can post it, generally the better. Um, I would post it on your website first and have it be there for maybe a week and then start posting it other places. But um, it can be really valuable to have a wide distribution network for your white papers. Even if your white paper is only 80% as good as someone else's, if yours gets read 10,000 times a year, which is realistic, and someone else's white paper gets read 100 times a year, who do you think is going to get more clients even if their white paper is, you know, 20% better or even 200% better? You might still end up with more clients than them because of that extra expertise that came from that one white paper that you distributed and got out there. So I hope this is a helpful kind of review of white paper best practices and tips. Remember the... Um, the three rules of three and making sure you have a high quality white paper that looks well received. Remember it has to look professional, feel professional, and be well written. Um, so it's high quality writing. And um, I hope this is something that you can kind of practice as an exercise and develop a skill on because it's valuable in the industry. And as a consultant, the ability to write, teach others, and produce white papers will always be a valuable skill. So hope you enjoyed this video. This is businesstraining.com where you can earn master's level qualifications to help you make more money.